the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning and welcome to Midday with Gray. Uh, you're joining me today just outside on the side property here at St. George's, the Anglican Parish of the Blue Mountains. And in the background is our old uh, carriage house that is part of the history of our parish. Uh, thank you for joining with me. This broadcast is part of the Church Beyond Our Doors outreach ministries of our parish. And it can be found, uh, today's service can be found on page 56 of the Book of Alternative Services of the Anglican Church of Canada, Prayers for Midday. Let's take a moment of silence and enjoy the natural beauty around us before we come together in prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please join with me in, as we read Psalm 19. It can be found on page 56 of the Book of Alternative Services, or you can find it in your own Bible. And together we read verses 1 to 6. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts its knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their so sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the earth. In the deep he has set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber, it rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about till the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. Please join with me as together we read our psalm prayer. O God, the source of all life, you have filled the earth with beauty. Open our eyes to see your gracious hand in all of your works, that rejoicing in your whole creation we may learn to serve you with gladness for the sake of him whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And our service continues uh, with one of the canticles that can be found in the Book of Alternative Services. Let's hear together a song of peace that can be found on page 75. And this comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Uh, chapter 2, verses 2 to 5. In the days that come, the mountain of the house of the Lord shall tower as the highest of mountains and be raised above the hills. There shall all of the nations flow. Many people shall come and say, Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion, from Jerusalem, the whole of the Lord, the word of the Lord. He shall judge between nations and decide for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning knives. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. They shall never train for war again. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. And now I have a reading to share uh, from sec the second letter of St. Paul to the church in Corinth, chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. St. Paul writes, For anyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old creation has gone, and now the new one is here. It's all God's work. It was God who reconciled us to himself through Christ, and gave us the work of handing on this reconciliation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now enter into a time of prayer for ourselves, for our families, and for the communities that we are called to serve. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Let us pray for all God's children throughout the world. Let us pray for ourselves as we pause in this worship, remembering our families, all those we love, and those we are called to serve. Today I invite you in pray to pray with me as we remember these members of our St. George's family. We pray today for David and Lisa Taylor, for Doreen Taylor, for Carrie, Stuart, Lily, Lexi, and Archer Taylor, for Robert and Linda Taylor, for Joan Teske, and for Robert and Brianna Thorne. We pray for them and their families and all those they love and serve. I invite you to also pray for Todd Townsend, our Bishop of Huron, and all those who are called to serve and lead in our church. And lastly, let us be mindful of the vulnerable in our communities. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace and goodwill among all nations, and for the care and well-being of all people. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the poor, for all those who are sick at this time. Let us pray for the hungry, the oppressed, and for all in isolation from community. Let us pray for all those in any need or trouble. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church in all of its expressions and denominations and for the ways that we are called to bring God's hope and love to others, and to never stop proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who have died in the peace of Christ, and for those whose faith is known to God alone. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I invite you to join with me as today we pray for Ken Phipps, beloved member of our parish who has passed into God's arms of grace. May Ken rest in peace and receive the fullness of God's joy and promises. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Let us give thanks to our gracious Creator for all of our blessings and for God's never-ceasing presence in our lives, now and always. Almighty Savior, at midday you called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles. Fill the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever. Amen. And gathering all of our prayers and praises into one, let us praise our Savior taught us when together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. This draws our service of midday prayer to a close. I hope you have blessings in your day and a little bit of sunshine as well. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining with me today for Midday with Gray. We'll see you soon.